If you're considering reorganizing your bedroom furniture to refresh your space, or if you're thinking about purchasing new furniture pieces to completely transform your bedroom, then this video is designed for you. Today, we will guide you through the process of creating a harmonious and functional bedroom layout. We'll also delve into the crucial details of bedroom design, including the recommended furniture distances for optimal comfort and accessibility. This will ensure that your bedroom isn't just aesthetically pleasing, but also practical and easy to navigate. Plus, we will discuss the different types of furniture in the bedroom, including their standard dimensions. Let's get started. Arranging bedroom furniture involves a delicate balance of functionality, personal preference, and room layout. Here are the steps to plan your bedroom or arrange the furniture in your existing bedroom. The first thing you need to do is measure your room. Accurately determine the length, width, and note the locations of doors and windows. With these measurements, you can effectively plan where to place your furniture without making mistakes. Next, identify the essential pieces of furniture for your room. Commonly, these are a bed, nightstands, a dresser, and perhaps a chair or desk. However, your essentials may differ based on your individual needs. The bed is usually the focal point of the bedroom. Aim to place it against the wall opposite the door, avoiding, if possible, placement under a window or too close to the door. If space is tight, you might consider a corner placement, though be aware that it could complicate bed making. When it comes to nightstands, aim to position them on either side of the bed, or just one if space is limited. Ensure they're within comfortable reach for your convenience in bed. A dresser or wardrobe, if needed, usually finds its place across from the foot of the bed. Strive to place it on a wall that doesn't disrupt the flow of traffic. If your room allows, think about adding a small chair or bench. It adds charm and provides a spot for you to sit while putting on shoes or planning tomorrow's outfit. If your bedroom also serves as a workspace, allocate a spot for a desk that won't interfere with your sleep. A location near a window could provide ample natural light. Always ensure that you leave enough space for circulation. Avoid clutter and verify that doors can fully open. Additionally, symmetry can instill a sense of balance and tranquility in your room. This doesn't mean perfect matching, but mirroring furniture on each side of the room can create an appealing aesthetic. Finally, once the main pieces are in place, accessorize your room with items like lamps, artwork, mirrors, or plants to personalize it and bring everything together. The goal is to create a space that not only serves your needs, but also feels uniquely you. A typical bedroom comprises several key pieces of furniture. Let's start with the centerpiece, the bed, Beds come in various sizes, tailored to different needs. A single bed, ideal for a child or a single adult in a smaller space, measures about 0.9 meters wide by 2 meters long. A slightly larger twin bed is 1 meter wide. These beds are ideal for older children, teenagers, or single adults who need a bit more room than a single bed provides. Twin beds are also a common choice for guest rooms. A double or full bed, approximately 1.3 to 1.4 meters wide, comfortably sleeps a single adult or two children. It's a good choice for single adults in apartments where a queen or king bed might not fit. The queen bed, measuring around 1.5 meters wide, provides more sleeping space, making them ideal for two adults. And the king bed, the largest standard size, offers ample space with a width of 1.8 to 2 meters and a length of 2 meters. These beds are often the go-to choice for couples who want maximum personal sleeping space or who often share their bed with children. Next, we have the nightstand, typically placed on one or both sides of the bed usually measuring about 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters, provides a surface for your lamp, alarm clock, glasses, or book. The dresser is another significant piece of bedroom furniture where you can store clothes. Dressers can greatly vary in size, but typically they are about 45 centimeters deep and range from one to 1.5 meters in width. Some bedrooms may also feature a wardrobe or armoire, a standing closet for clothing storage. In many modern homes, you might find a built-in wardrobe or closet space instead. If your bedroom doubles as a workspace, it might include a desk. Standard desks typically measure between 75 centimeters to 80 centimeters high, 1.2 to 1.5 meters wide, and 60 to 70 centimeters deep. Accompanying the desk, you'll have a chair which averages 45 centimeters in seat height, ideal for most desks. Let's delve deeper into the do's and don'ts of bedroom furniture layout, taking into account both feng shui principles and the minimum clearances between pieces of furniture. Avoid having your bed aligned with the door or on the same wall as the entry door. This means you are not in a command position and can't see who's coming in or out. Instead, place your bed in a command position. This is directly diagonal from the entry door, approximately two to three meters away, depending on the size of your room. This strategic placement allows you to have a full view of the door and who's coming in and out, providing a sense of security and control. Balance, 
symmetry, and harmony are key elements that bring a sense of calm and order to your space. Imagine having symmetrical nightstands on either side of your bed. Add table lamps on these nightstands, creating a warm and inviting glow. Complement this with symmetrical art pieces above the headboard and even symmetrical bedding. This symmetry not only pleases the eye, but also creates a balanced energy flow in the room. Try to make your bedroom shape as square or rectangular as possible. Feng Shui considers these shapes as the most auspicious. If your room is not a perfect square or rectangle, don't worry. You can use furniture or rugs to visually square off the space. Keep the bedroom clean and well-kept. A clutter-free environment promotes positive energy. Make sure there's enough storage space for your belongings. A clean room is a happy room. Use a bed that's the right size for you. A bed that's too small can restrict your growth in life. The bed should be at least 50 centimeters away from the wall or other furniture to allow for easy movement. Avoid having a mirror facing your bed. Mirrors have too much active yang energy for a place of rest. They can also startle you if you wake up in the middle of the night. Avoid having an overhead ceiling fan in the bedroom. The ceiling fan distributes too much active energy, which can disrupt your sleep. If you need a fan for ventilation or white noise, consider a standing or table fan instead. Avoid having lamps placed directly above your head. This can cause discomfort and disrupt your sleep. Instead, place lamps on the nightstands or use wall sconces. Avoid storing items above your head or below the bed. Unstable items disturb chi and can cause anxiety. Keep these areas clear to promote a peaceful and restful sleep. Remember, these are guidelines and not rules. So feel free to experiment and create a space that makes you feel relaxed and at peace. If you're looking for products or items similar to the ones we discussed in this video, check out the links in the description box below. We've curated a list of items that can help you achieve the perfect bedroom layout. I hope you found this video insightful and helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!